Have you ever wondered if snakes fart? How about a manatee? Chimpanzees? Sloths? Centipedes? No? Are you wondering now? To fart or not to fart? That is the question. Well, it's a question anyway. One that zoologist Danny Rabiati has asked herself many, many times. Hi, my name's Dr. Danny Rabiotti. I'm a zoologist at the Zoological Society of London, and I'm also an author of a number of books, including Does It Fart? Why a book about farts, you might ask? One day, my brother said, Danny, do snakes fart? I'm a zoologist, so I'm kind of expected to know that kind of thing. But I realised I actually didn't know the answer. Hmm. So I reached out on Twitter to someone who would, David Steen, snake expert, uh, and I asked him, do snakes fart? And he responded, sigh, yes. Oh. After that, Danny was cooking with gas, and other scientists got involved too. It spawned a hashtag, and in the true nature of science, I suggested we turn that hashtag into a spreadsheet so that scientists could refer to it later on. And then it got covered in the media, and then we got offered the book deal. The book covers a wide variety of animals, mammals, invertebrates, reptiles, and birds, and provides insight into which fart, which don't, and which ones we still aren't sure about. The information is explosive. Honestly, I was really surprised about the amazing array of things that farts are used for in the animal kingdom. It's absolutely incredible. For example, manatees use farts for buoyancy. So they will let out gas from their rear end if they want to be less buoyant, and that allows them to sink down in the water column. Unfortunately, this means that if manatees get constipated, they've been noticed floating upside down with their tails in the air as they can no longer fart out the gas they need to in order to sink. Animals have also been known to use their farts for defense. Some species of snake use a strategy called cloacal popping, where they suck air into their cloaca and they release it, which makes a loud popping sound to deter predators. Chimps, they'll just let one rip any time, any place. It allows the scientists to find these animals in the forest. If they can't see the chimps, they can listen out for the sound of their loud farts up in the treetops and use them to locate the animals. One of the animals where it was the most difficult to find out whether they farted or not was the sloth. Instead of farting out gas, which is really difficult for a sloth because they only poo every three weeks, they instead reabsorb the gas from their gut and breathe it out, kind of like a fart-filled breath. And while flatulence is fun and fascinating, Danny thinks that farts have the potential to change the way we connect with the natural world. I think in today's era, a lot of people are getting more disconnected from nature. That's just a product of the way we live these days. And I feel like if reading a book about farts exposes people to new animals and new amazing things that they do, then hopefully they'll want to preserve it more. What a fart, heartwarming thought. 